Hey guys, on today's episode of the Quickie, we're gonna do bolt disassembly. All right, so to take your bolt carrier assembly apart, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove your firing pin retainer pin, which is this little cotter key looking piece. That just pulls straight out. Now, depending on how dirty your firing pin or your whole bolt carrier is, your firing pin will come out next. Next thing you want to remove is your cam pin. So you're going to rotate that 90 degrees. You may have to use your pliers or whatever your tool you're using. And turn that 90 degrees. And then just roll it over or pull it out with your pliers and it will fall out. Once that's gone, the entire bolt assembly should come out. Now once you have it all apart, you can clean down inside there and get all the carbon out scrape it and do whatever you want to do clean these parts now if you have to go further and work on your bolt i recommend you get one of our bolt tools um, this holds everything in place for you and makes it really easy to get the ejector out which is this piece right here so to do that you're going to lay it down in there and it will sit just like that and we're going to remove the ejector pin. So to do that, you're going to want to compress that spring. Use a 1 16th inch punch and gently drive that pin out. Now when you take it out, be careful not to let that piece of the ejector jump out. But now your ejector is loose. You can pull it out. You taps like that will get your ejector spring out, which is also the same spring as your selector spring. To tear it down further, you want to push on the back side, bottom of the extractor while you press the pin out. It's going to relieve some of the pressure and make it easier to get out. You should be able to just push that out. Then your extractor will come out. Now we use um, a rubber o-ring around our extractors that helps with extraction. You take that out. Then you'll have your extractor spring and bumper pad. And if you're going to take those out, you're going to need a pair of pliers because those are snapped in there. And then your extractor is all the way stripped. The only thing left are your gas rings. Now when you're changing your gas rings, you don't have to take all this other stuff off. But to do that, you basically just want to get in one of the grooves, either with a pocket knife or a punch or something like that, and pop that loose. And you're just going to push those rings off. You're changing them anyway, so it doesn't matter if you damage them. And there your bolt carrier assembly is completely stripped. All right, once you get your bolt carrier completely stripped, clean it, it's time to put it back together. First thing I'm gonna do is take my new set of gas rings. We use three gas rings on every bolt. It's pretty standard. And you're gonna hook one side and just kind of roll the whole bolt around. So once you get all three gas rings on, you wanna make sure that the gaps are not aligned. So I run them about every third way around the bolt itself. That way you don't get gas escaping when you're firing. So the next thing to do is to put the extractor back together. So you got your bumper pad and your spring. You're gonna put the fat bottom into the extractor. Best way to do that is get you some needle nose pliers and just push it till it locks in that ring. Like that. Then I'm going to put the O-ring back on it, give it that extra little bit of bite. Then we're going to put back on the bolt, press down on the bottom of it, 
Make sure you get your extractor pin and just push it back through. Now you don't want it to protrude out further on either side. So you want it nice and flush. Your last step for the bolt is to put the ejector back in. So you put your spring in first and then you make sure that the cut, the smaller end goes into the bolt. Okay, so it's going to go like that. You're going to put that in. Put it back in the bolt tool. I'm telling you, these things are very handy if you're doing any bolt disassembly at all. Now we get the pin out. If you have a starter punch, it helps a lot. Get that lined up. Again, this is a very small in diameter pin, so you don't want to use a lot of force when you're putting it in. Sometimes the ejector gets twisted. So make sure you're doing it right. Now your bolt assembly is back together. Make sure you use something to depress the ejector. That way you know it's not bound up. Everything looks good there. So to put the bolt back in the carrier, I always put my thumb on the extractor and hold the carrier in my left hand so that when you put it in, the extractor is at about 10 o'clock, like this. Now you want to line up that hole for the cam pin there in the top. Drop that in. And then remember, you got to rotate it 90 degrees. That's so your firing pin can go through there. So rotate the bolt carrier over. Take your firing pin. Drop it down in that chamber. Make sure it goes all the way in. I hold it with my pinky so that I make sure that it doesn't move. And then you can also hold in the firing pin while you put in the retainer pin. And the easiest way to do that is just to slide that in, kind of push down on it like so. Make sure the firing pin doesn't fall out. Check your bolt function a little bit. And there you go.